Good morning, everybody. <coughs> oh, bless her. Oh, sick head. Oh, sorry about that. So, excuse the way I look as well. I've, I've had, been up most of the night with Olivia. Up and down. But she walked to give me pain relief. Oh, I don't know what that oh, I'm just not like that while with a bit of cream. Anyway, so yesterday was very stressful because she had an operation today. Her face is all swollen, which I've been told that it will it will be. But I forgot to show you this. I did thingy it but on my YouTube shop, but I didn't put it on my um, video. She got a TED... Oh, when I went in, all the children that were having operations that day all had a teddy. Um, it's something i think it's called buddy buddy something i can't remember the way the paperwork is but it helps him like go down with for an operation but olivia got a stitch off um well i don't know off of someone anyway with a name on it and she sleeps with that so she took that with her but yeah she just wanted to bring that home so she's doing all right she's in a bit of pain but she, like i said she will not take any pain relief even though i've got cow paul um for her age, but she's one of those, she's stubborn, <laughs> very stubborn, indeed. <laughs> Just making a quick cup of tea and I'm half absolutely exhausted. Um, I've already just, I don't put a load of washing on and my body's just like, so I'm making a cup of tea and I've just made Olivia a sandwich. So her face looks like, I mean, it's swollen. So what I've done is, because she's refusing medication, um, I've got a wet flannel and I've just told her to pop it on there. It might hopefully help take the swelling down a little bit. I don't know whether it's going to help, I don't know. But she's refusing ibuprofen, paracetamol. Oh, I don't know. Any suggestion? I've even tried to put it in a juice. Um, and I've got yogurts as well. So mm. I used to be able to get away with that when she was younger. Put cow pollen yogurt, and just when she was a baby, that's the only time I could ever get medicine down. And now she's thirteen, I can't really, you know, force it. And I'm like, you don't want to be going back up to hospital because the way her face is going right now, I think. <laughs> so I think that's what. Obviously, I'm not going to rush up there and take it. I contact the GPs, but I don't know what else to do because I'm trying. I'm, I keep going in and encouraging. Her. Look, I've, I've left the, um, a syringe full of cow pole there. I said, right, when you're ready, take that. Um, but she's she's just not having any of it. Um, I'm gonna do my Timu order in another in another video because I'm, I'm I'm trying to sort the settings out on my phone because obviously at the minute I can't afford a camera, which I'm wanting to do in a laptop so I can do better uploads because I got an email of someone saying that they I'm not sure if they work with YouTube or not, but I'm like oh thanks for that. It didn't I mean they offered to help. But I'm like, is it sure it's from someone from YouTube or someone trying? I don't know. I'm not. You know when you don't know if it's spam. I'm just. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, guys. And the only way I know if you're engaging with me is liking my video. So am I doing a good job? I'm just feeling a bit. After that, receiving that email, I'm like, just really, it's been bothering me. I got it the other day, not the other night, last night, whatever I just said, but I got it the other day and it's just playing on my mind. And it's, I know my videos are not probably the best and stuff like that, but I don't know. You got the bagging on about, you've got a good load of subscriptions, subscribers, but your views aren't that great. Well, I know that, but I'm trying my best, but I can't do all when I don't have a camera. I am trying to find different videos to do, but, you know, I'm not that bright. <laughs> but I'm not bothered about, you know, because it, it was like someone else said, oh, do you get paid for it? I don't get paid for YouTube, and I don't really, it, 
that is the reason why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because it helps me off-road a little bit and hopefully help other people that are going through the same situation with fibro, mental health and children, when you've got children with, who are autistic as well and challenging behaviours. It's hard and especially when I'm a single parent as well. Um, but yeah, it is hard. But I do it and I have no other choice but to do it. But with Olivia right now, he's trying to encourage her to feel deflated. <laughs> you know, I, I, I think I slept alright, but not enough that I should have got a decent sleep because Olivia was up and down, you know what I mean? And I should have kept, I should have asked for him when them. You know the sheets that they do when they do and the dental work and they put like a like it looks like a puppy mat. <laughs> uh, she hadn't got one of them actually. I could have put I could have put that across the pillow, but last night I did put a towel across, but there was a bit of blood. But yeah, because I didn't want to freak. She's scared of blood and she's scared of needles. And I said, don't be afraid when you wake up. There might be a little bit of blood where it's obviously she has rinsed the mouth out. Law, that's one thing. Oh, any suggestion? <laughs> yes. So I'm going to enjoy my tea and my cat mug that I got from B&M um, a while back. Um, I will be doing my tea and my order, but that will probably be in a different video. Um, what I got for 20 quid. I, I tried to get the, like, the pound ones and less than a pound. I think I got about maybe i can't remember any items to be honest um but i tried my best to get what i could <laughs> anyway i'll catch up with you in a bit <laughs> let me enjoy the brew